Hi, my name is Debbie Merritt and I'm with the Athens Optimus Club in Alabama. I, and I have the honor of getting to discuss with you the essay and oratorical contests this evening. I basically want to give you a little background on some information on the essay contest. Uh, this PowerPoint will be available uh, after the end of the uh, session tonight. So to start with, our topic for this coming year will be reaching your dreams by choosing optimism. The purpose of the essay contest is to give participants a chance to express their views around a central topic. Also to give the participants a chance to win college scholarships. To be eligible to compete, a contestant must be under 19 years of age as of October 1st, 2020, and have not yet completed secondary school or its equivalent, including CEGEP students in Quebec, Canada. Contestants all must live in a districted area where an Optimus Club is located. However, children in US military installations overseas may enter contests in the city where they last resided in the United States. Individuals are not eligible to participate if they have previously won a district essay contest. The essay itself, uh, Chairperson should always emphasize the importance to participants that they comply with the rules of the contest. Those rules include the essay must contain seven to 800 words. Writers must write on the official topic. It must contain a title page with pertinent information set forth in the rules. The essay must be typewritten, double spaced, it must be numbered beginning after the title page. And contestants should never identify themselves, their parents, their schools, or districts. Um, unfortunately, unnecessary deductions and penalties can severely hurt a participant. Uh, for the chair people, it is very important to get your information out to your schools and other youth-based organizations as early as possible. That way, your um, they can start disseminating the information to the students and you can get more participation. Um, chairpersons then should begin trying to pick their judges. They need to use three judges who are not acquainted with the writers and it's always good to have a backup judge. Judges should have expertise with creative writing. For example, speech teachers, English teachers, journalists. Um, at the club level, you may use an Optimus member as your judge. However, judges at the district level must be non-Optimus. The only exception to this is a foo. Chairpersons should provide all judges with an instruction sheet and the judges score sheet together with copies of all the essays that have been submitted. In an effort to conceal the identity of the writers, each essay should be signed a number and that number placed on the title page of each essay and on page one of the essay. The title pages are retained by the chairperson and not provided to the judges. The judges are only given the essays bearing the assigned numbers. When submitting the essays to the judges, the chairperson should request that all judges return their score sheets by a predetermined date. Judges should not speak to other judges or compare their scores. The chairperson should complete the master score sheet to determine the winner of the contest, but only a judge can assign a penalty or award points. If, however, a chairperson feels that there has been an oversight or a omission, the chairperson can contact a judge directly and discuss a possible reevaluation. However, the chairperson cannot change the uh, score that a judge has given to a essay. Okay, on the club level, clubs can always set their own deadlines for their contests, but they have to keep in mind the deadline for submitting an entry to the district contest. As is normal, District um, club chairperson should complete the district essay contest form and send it, the winning essay, the contestant's application form, and a copy of the writer's birth certificate with the applicable entry fee to the district chairperson by February 28th. The district chairperson, once completion of the district essay contest, 
to complete the district essay contest winner information form and submit it and the winning essay to Optimus International by April 15th. District winners will then be notified by OI between April 15th and June 1st. I know a lot of districts, however, will have their um, essay winners at their third quarter district meetings and therefore sometimes they notify their contestants a little earlier so that those students can um, be present at those district meetings. Uh, of note, of course, the essay competition does not extend past the district level. With regard to awards, awards should always be purchased through Shumsky or Ansel, depending upon whether you're in the United States or Canada. Uh, award, the awards at the club level is a medallion. However, the clubs can elect to give up to $500 in cash scholarships for the club contest winners. The award at the district level is a plaque plus a $2,500 college scholarship. Districts have the opportunity to increase the amount of the OI sponsored scholarship, but in that case, the district will be directly responsible for the payment of any increased amounts. Scholarships are always payable directly to the college, university, or trade school of the winner's choice, subject to the approval by Optimus International. Winners, of course, must claim their scholarships by the time they reach 25 years of age. Just one note and reminder after the contest, your club and district chairperson should always provide the judges with a small token of appreciation, such an Optimus mug or a Creed coaster. The club and district chairpersons also need to complete their chair evaluation forms and submit them to Optimus International. This helps International make improvements to the programs in later years. Finally, the chairperson should always follow up with their judges for membership recruitment purposes.